In the wine ratings four levels within split, we have each judge represented as a single row with the observations for the four wines as separate columns. Now this is actually a pretty handy way to enter data. It's actually easier sometimes to enter your repeated observations across the different columns. But for analysis, especially with mixed model analyses, we're not going to want the data organized this way. Instead, we want to stack the data such that we have the wines represented across rows for each judge. Now to do this, we'll go to the Tables menu and invoke the Stack platform. Stack is set up to stack multiple values from columns into a single column. That is, we're going to represent the four columns here across separate rows. And we're going to get a new variable that identifies which column each rating came from. So what I'm going to do is take the columns I want to stack, that is, wine one through four, and those are the stack columns. So I'll put those into this section here. Now I want to do a couple things. I'm actually going to move this to the side, and I'm going to click Keep Dialog Open. Because right now, we actually have everything set up to stack those different columns. But we want to do a couple more things to make our data set a little cleaner. But I want to try this right now just so you see what output we get. So as soon as I click Create, what I end up with is four rows for each judge. So judge one here is represented now across four rows rather than a single row. We have a new column labeled Label and a new column labeled Data. Now I want you to see where these column headers came from. Notice in our stack platform, there's an option for the stacked data column. That is, what we want to call the column that actually contains the measurements. For us, we probably want to call these ratings. These are ratings of wine. So instead of calling it data, let's actually rename this. I'm going to call this rating. Now the second option is the source label column. What this refers to is what the original columns were called. So we need to label the variable that this is. And in this case, this is which wine each subject was rating. So instead of calling it label, let's just call this wine. When we do this, Jump will create the table with the proper column headings. So now we actually have it to be a little more interpretable. So we have judge, the original label we had, wine to represent the column that identifies which wine measurements we're referring to, and then rating to represent the data values that we just stacked. So by setting it up this way, of course you could do it after the fact by relabeling the column names, but doing it here makes it a little bit easier. So let me hit cancel since I've already made the table, and let me move this over and let me get rid of the other table I just made, so the one where I had label and data before I entered wine and rating. So let me close this, and I want you to see that these really do match up. What we've done is simply have jump move all the values for us. So in the original table, the judge one ratings was 51, 52, 68, and 55. Notice now we have 51, 52, 68, and 55. Those ratings that were across columns are now ratings that are across rows. And notice we have 60 rows in this table, which represent four times the 15 subjects we had. So 60 rows because we took 15 rows of data, but stacked for four for each subject. So all we've done is restructure the data. We haven't destroyed anything in our data set. And in fact, if you want to see that this is a non-destructive transformation, that is a transformation that doesn't remove any data, we can even go to the tables menu and invoke split. Split is the opposite of stack. Split returns a stacked data set to the split format. Let me show you how this works. Our split column will be the column that identifies the actual observations we want to split. So in this case, it's rating. What we split by will be the variable that identifies which observations are which. So in this case, it's wine. The wine column, wine one, two, three, and four, identifies what these ratings are of. And finally, group here is what identifies the individual unit. So in this case, that's judge. So when I click OK, Jump will actually create the original table again. So we can keep doing this over and over and over. We're not destroying any information. If we want, we can go back to tables, stack this, take our wine, stick them into stack column. We can call this rating, and the next one wine, click OK, and now we've again created our stack table. So for fun, you can just do this over and over again. Of course, we're not going to, there's no reason to, but I want you to see that stacking and splitting is a non-destructive operation. We're just restructuring the data into a format that's more easy to analyze and necessary for the type of analysis we're going to run.